Hey there, this is Bakari Shabanu with Mac Automation Tips. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my uh, series on SuperTab. In the first part, we talked about how to set up SuperTab once you get it downloaded. Now we're going to go into how to customize SuperTab for your particular Mac. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so here we are back again with uh, SuperTab. And um, if you don't know anything about SuperTab and you're just kind of getting familiar with it, you definitely want to check out the first video in this series in which I explain how to go in and, you know, download um, SuperTab. Well, after you download SuperTab, you know, how to go in and go into the system preferences and set it up. All right, so now I'm, I'm assuming that you have SuperTab on your, on your uh, Mac and we're gonna kind of go into some ways that you can customize, um, you know, the look and feel of the rows in SuperTab. Now, basically, um, if you're if you're if if you're using a new, you know, if you're using SuperTab for the first time, it's on your Mac. It's not gonna look like quite like mine, but uh, you can still follow along with these instru instructions. So you can have um, as many um, rows as you like, uh, depending on how you know large you want your icons and how big you want the rows and all that kind of thing so you want to adjust those in system preferences so once you decide that um, super tab gives you some default uh, rows to work with now i can't quite remember what those are since it's been a long time but um you can always add a row by you know just uh, putting your cursor over over this part here in the middle and just uh you know click the uh uh, plus sign there and then you have these selected contents now there's quite a few um, um, different types of roles that you can do um, a few of them are um, a little bit uh, I, I think either buggy or they might be not to your liking and I'm going to show you in a minute but of course the first one is um, the, your active applications these are the ones that um, that are active, uh, that are open and active on your Mac. Uh, you might want those, and you might want to do it because um, it's a quick way to just get at those applications, uh, maybe quicker than using the the um, application switcher on a Mac or any other application. So it's a good way to kind of switch between applications there. All right. Uh, another one is the recent applications. Those are the ones that you recently used and that might be useful as well they kind of ones that you've recently opened um you might want to have that um you know in your in, in in your set of roles there um to kind of get back to and go back to previous used applications okay and then this right here is for recent documents um and you have those there um, and that's really that's really useful as well um Here's one for dock items. These are the same ones that are in your current dock on your Mac. And, uh, you know, if you want to just, you know, completely hide your dock and, and use SuperTab instead, that might be a useful way uh, to do that. Okay. And let's see, Dropbox uh, contents. I'm not going to select this one because it will give way too many, um, you know, uh, uh, folders and, 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 and documents so I don't want to do that I got a lot of stuff in my Dropbox content and you might not want to do it either but you can test it out to see how it goes whichever um, if you don't like a role or what in terms of what it delivers all you got to do is come over here and click on the little X uh, button here to, to get rid of that role all right so uh, same thing with the folder contents to get what that is oh okay so here's some different um, folders here and I think it's in your home folder here and what that means that you can kind of click on uh, you know you can click on these and see the content so you hold down and you can open it up let's see I thought that was that's not really how that works Hello. let me see it should I thought it would just show well I guess okay you click on it and and it would just kind of open up in the in here but see how that does it, it really if you got too much stuff in there it, it doesn't really play right that well so I really wouldn't utilize this um, um, some you know some of these I wouldn't utilize you know here so let's kind of go back again okay 
Uh, so that's the one folder contents. Again, I need to play around with that, but I wouldn't use it. Same thing with Snag, uh, Snagit. If you use the uh, screen capturing uh, application Snagit, um, what it would do is it would show all the Snagit captures you have in the application. Again, I have too many. I don't want to do that. Uh, this one was an, another one. Um, this is a good clipboard history. If you don't do a lot of Clippings, this is okay, but I, I do a lot, so it's not really useful for me. Um, but if you if you do just you know a few a day or something like that, it it'll, it works it works out great. Okay, so you can change that, and then these are for tagged items, sidebar items. Again, I have way too many you see in my sidebar, so it wouldn't be useful for me in that regard. So I'm going to get rid of this again, and uh, click out, and just come back again. Okay, and let's see another one is application windows. Um, I don't have the application windows. Um, I think well, I have a few open, so it will find those. Again, that's not too. It, this goes into like almost any window that's on your Mac, and and it might be useful, but it's not as robust. Uh, but you, it might you know be useful for you on your on your Mac. Not too not too useful for me. Um, and then you can have what's called custom. Uh, you know you can have custom items going here so you click do that you, you click on here and you can add what's called files you can add custom files folders uh, <clears throat> particular applications um, system preferences so for, say for example um, let's do this one say you want to add a particular um, you know system preference um, item that you use all the time so say you want to you want to add uh, you know super tab settings there for a minute um, let's go do another one here and you can say you want to add your Bluetooth for example so that means you can go straight to these items in system preferences when you put them in there okay so displays so you can add you know any kind of items you want you can add a website uh, address you know you can put a website uh, URL in there if you like and I'm gonna show you in the next video how you can do a lot of this stuff quicker then in this way but um, you know you can add that you can add uh, this one called auto type which is pretty good I'm gonna go over that in, in, the, in the next video um, it's pretty good I can show you how to do that um, to just dis, uh, display configuration so if you change the display on your configuration you can do that and I'm gonna go into a little more detail again but you know you can put that there and then configure the display configurations that you want so that just captures the current display okay and let's see um, here you can put um, a clipboard item and see click to define it okay you can configure it so right now it will do it it'll, it'll take the last clipboard item you have right and you can you can give it a name um, and so if you want to reuse that so if you wanted to reuse that that clipboard item um, you can do that so um, say you know I don't know like what it was I think that was a USA today they um, you know a URL there USA today day article something whatever it was so you can give it a name okay and see and it'll show up like that it'll give like a little overlay right there and that again that's just something that if you want to you know something that you you know it's a clipping that you can't you know you want to you know use often and you want to just kind of quickly get get at it all right so and also it has a screenshot to kind of configuration which has not been working for me um, but what it allows you to do and I can go into this more detail in another video but what it allows you to do is um, do a um, say, say for you can do a selection type um, a, a screenshot and let me see if it works because it hasn't been working for me um, it used to work but I don't know why it doesn't now but let me see if it let me try see if it does yeah see it's not it's not working for me here it, it, it should it should act like you know, it's a, a regular screenshot and it's not um, you know like if I do do command um, I think it was command I forget what it is command shift four something like that you know I don't I don't use the, the shortcuts to do the screenshots anymore but it should that's what it should do but see it's not turning there so that's that's a real bug and that's really a useful 
uh, feature, but um, I need to check back with the developer and find out, um, you know, why it's not happening. But anyway, um, so we can remove this. You can remove any item and replace it if you like. And you also can can take items and move them to other, you know, custom roles as well. So if I want to move this down here, I can do that. Um, so it's really easy, useful there. Um, another way that you can do this is that you can you can drag um, application icons, you know, applications from your application folder and just, you know, drag it into the custom item. So let me see, let me go here and let's go to applications. All right, and say I wanted to put uh, alpha there into it. So I just take it and drag it down to the corner since I have the corner activated, corner act activation, and then I can just drop it right in here. Okay, so that's that's if you have the um, and I showed you this in the first video, uh, part one about how to set up a hot hot corner for triggering a super tab. So you can do that as well. So that's it for this particular uh, uh, you know part of the series. And uh, the next series I'm going to kind of go into more detail about how to set up some of the kind of hidden features in super tab.